Hello everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Rocky Mounts guide rail for three bikes. You can find this as a kit here at eTrailer where you can then carry around three different bikes of different shapes and sizes. Versatility is a key word for the Rocky Mounts guide rail. So the guide rail itself has some really good features. It's a dual wheel mount rack, it has a really good weight capacity and there's zero frame contact. So and let's say you have a family that is growing or you need to carry around your friends' bikes as well. You can switch from the two bike to the three bike with the included add-on with this kit. This video is gonna focus on the experience of a three bike bike rack. The rack is a little longer, a little heavier, and has different weight capacities. If you wanna learn though about how to install the add-on and how quick and easy it is to take off, we have a full depth review of that with the add-on itself. This is a setup I see a lot on the highway or at the trail parking lot. We have two big bikes and then we have a smaller kid's bike. If you've seen other types of racks, you know that when the bikes have a big difference when it comes to shape, that's when things become tricky. But since this is a dual wheel mount rack, we're not as worried about that. We can move the mount up and down for the smaller kid's bikes or the larger mountain bikes. And when you have bikes of similar sizes, you know it's tricky to get clearance between their seats and their handlebars. This one can slide back and forth on the tray to find the right position for you. And zero frame contact means it holds it by its front and its rear wheel. So once you've figured out the best spot for your bikes on the rack, you just secure it and you don't have to worry about getting an adapter or scratching up your carbon fiber frame. And with bike racks that can carry multiple bikes, the common problem is when you have to take off the closest bike to the car, you have to take out the front, the middle, and then you can get to the third bike. But with this bike rack, you can release the levers of just one bike, push this mount all the way to the ground, and now you can selectively dismount one of your bikes without having to take all the others off first. So most bike racks can carry a bike. Like that's the whole point of getting a bike rack. But the guide rail has features like this, which just make it easier to use and a lot more helpful when you have those different shaped bikes. But there are downsides to this style as well once you get to multiple bikes. While this has a 55 inch wheelbase accommodation, there's a limit to how far you can move your smaller kids bikes and the size of your wheels. You also have to plan ahead to make sure it's easier to take your bikes off and on and finding the best fit for you. So this rack works great, even better than others when you have a lot of large mountain bikes. But when you have a lot of children's bikes, if you have a wheelbase that's less than 36 inches or a tire size less than 20 inches, this won't be as good for you. So this is gonna add more length to the back of your car. I measure from the center of the hitch pin hole to the end of the rack, and that's going to be 44 inches of length. There's also going to be a 15 inch rise. And that means from the bottom of your hitch receiver to the bottom of the rack at the end, it's gonna be 15 inches higher. The platforms are a true stadium style, meaning that one bike is always higher than the other one, again, giving you more clearance. If you need access into your hatch, you have two options. One is to remove the closest bike and then that gives you a little bit more clearance. The other is to tilt the entire rack away. This can be a little trickier though because of where the handle sits towards the middle of the bike. So you're gonna have to pull this lever, hold on to the frame, and then carefully let this drop down to a tilt without getting hit by your own bikes. So if you have a trunk, you can open it. If you have a hatch, you can lift it. And if you have a tailgate, you can lower it. So this is very convenient if you're out riding and you need to switch out your shoes. Or if you need to grab your waters, your helmets, and your backpacks, and they're stored inside your trunk, hatch, or tailgate. Lifting it up is tricky too. So if you're carrying around three bikes, I recommend getting at least one of your friends to help you out. They can hold one side while you hold the other 
and you lift it up holding on to the frame until it snaps into place. Once it's in the upright position, you're ready to drive. Now that can be a pretty tiring process, especially if you have this fully loaded and you max out the weight capacity. So the weight capacity with three bikes on there is 45 pounds per bike. So slightly more than usual, but for your extra heavy electric bikes, it's not enough. But if you take off this add-on and use it as the two bike guide rail, you then have a weight capacity of 60 pounds per bike for those heavy electric bikes. You're done with your ride. You're unloading your bikes. Here's how the lever system works. So to release that first tension, just push against that lever. And now that the tension is released, you can pull it up and out. And then this wheel mount can come out completely. Same thing on the other side. Pull the lever out so it's loose and push the entire mount out so the bike is released. And now you can put your bike on or take it off. The reason why this bike rack has such a long wheelbase capacity compared to other racks like the Piston Pro X from Kua is because it starts ratcheting very early. Right there. It already starts securing your bike's tires, which gives you a lot more wiggle room to move them around. Remember that lever we pulled earlier? Well, if you pull that again with the bikes off, you can then lift the rack up into the storage or compact position. Great for if you're just wandering around town, you need to park into tight spaces, you don't have your bikes with you, or you need to store it in your garage. So the length this compact position adds to the back of your vehicle is measured from center of hitch pin hole to the end of the rack, 16 inches. And the height this will be sitting at is 36 and a half inches. Now that's measured from the inside lip of your hitch receiver. So this definitely adds more height compared to the two bike rack. So that's something to remember for your rear view window, or let's say if you have a backup camera, if it's offset like mine, perfectly fine. If it's in the middle, you're most likely to cover that with this rack. So this is how my backup camera looks like. And you can see that the bike rack takes up most of the view. I might be able to see someone walk past me, but this will change depending on where your camera sits or how wide of an angle your lens is. And when it comes to security, this uses two of these mega monster chains to wrap around your bikes when it's parked. This can be used with the key that's included with your hitch lock. So you only need to use one key to access both your bikes as well as your bike rack. This uses an anti-rattle bolt, which you tighten down into your hitch receiver. And this is going to be the key that locks that lock for that anti-rattle bolt. Now to tighten that down, you are going to need a three quarter inch wrench. There is a stamp wrench included. I like to use my own ratcheting tools though, to just to make it faster. That anti-rattle bolt is really important because that makes sure that your bike rack does not wiggle around in your hitch receiver. Notice how as I shake this, I'm pretty much just shaking the car at this point. There will be a little bit of movement though with the actual wheel mounts, but the bike rack itself, that's super secure. So that's the overall gist of a three bike bike rack. As you carry around more bikes, you sometimes get more issues, like making it hard to put those bikes on and off. There's more weight you're gonna have to deal with. This one has those nice features to make it easier to load and unload bikes, but it is gonna be longer. It's gonna be a heavier rack and you have less average weight capacity versus using this as a two bike bike rack. The pros though, is that it's super easy to add on that add on or take it right back off compared to others where it's a huge hassle. So hopefully this video helped you out with seeing if it is the right fit for your bikes, whether you're carrying small kids bikes or extra large mountain bikes, and if it's the right fit for your adventures. And if you're not ready to jump straight into the three bike kit, we have this sold separately as the two bike, and then you can get the add-on later on. And those are all here at eTrailer.com. But this was a look at the Rocky Mounts Guide Rail three bike platform rack here at eTrailer. My name is Evangeline, and I hope you enjoyed the journey.